What is up guys? I got another little Town Hall 10 video for you here and this one gonna be uh, on the takedown of Brady's base which is actually uh, his name is Ben he's from Omicron he has another account in uh, I guess in, in House of L actually but still it's, it's always kind of fun when you're able to take out an old clan mate uh, but really more fun because it took like four or five attacks to take it down so uh, just looking at it off the top you can kind of see that it has a pretty big core um, so that's uh, one thing you can kind of take advantage of if you get Valks in there. Not the highest value core though. So, you know, there, there's there's potential ways to be able to take this base down, whether it be getting your queen in a certain position to be able to take down a high high value area, or just getting your Valks around to be sort of able to to path around and never go to the center or whatever. But I don't know. Uh, at least for the for the two star, we got a pretty good uh, scout on the queen walk side, and basically what he is going to do is just kind of take advantage of the fact that the queen can see all of this stuff right here. Can't see the expo, but can see everything else. And he's just going to let his queen walk that whole way. Uh, that's all he's really going to worry about here. But the queen walk, and then he's going to send in the Valks. He's going to send in a golem right here to um, the tank and make the funnel. Wizard's going down, whatever, and then just doing kind of what Valks do and just kind of randomly throwing them at the middle, right? Which is smart, especially for a two-star going in on that side because he's able to take down the town hall pretty quickly and, you know, take advantage of the fact that the queen is able to walk that way. That being said, one thing that is a potential concern is the way that there's nothing right here, right? So that can actually cause trouble with the with the queen walk, right? As the queen sort of has to, um, to, to step up and then walk quite, kind of a long way. She'll probably be in this tile right here right and then she'll have to walk out of that in order to go to wherever she's going to next but as you can see when she is standing in this tile and she will probably have already taken down this 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 and this and this there really are two things that are close to her the, the next two closest things and that would be this elixir collector and this elixir collector so assuming she's already taken down the other buildings she, she should still continue walking that way but still definitely a concern when you're thinking about the plan but anyway, I'll go and start off by showing the two-star attack, which was by Draven, and it was actually hit in the first, like, ten minutes of war, which is always very nice. So here he goes, and doing exactly what I mentioned, doing the queen walk. He does go ahead and drop his queen in a little bit of a different position than we end up using later, just because he was concerned that she wouldn't go that direction. But because of how she dropped her, or how he dropped her, he actually had to use a rage early, which is kind of unfortunate. And he's just going to get that, uh, sorry, my 2x, going to get that... Uh, earthquake down in the middle and gonna bring his Valks in and one thing he doesn't have a jump to the core which is actually gonna be bad for him because the Valks sort of come to this southern compartment down here and just kinda too much split if he's gonna get a three star out of it and then he loses healers to this northwest air defense as well but the Valks do alright I guess and of course they get the two star so I'll um I'll keep it on 1x actually. They get the the earth or the rage there, and they kind of path around. And really, as you can see, the CC is just going to be detrimental to this raid, as the dragon is going to do a ton of work on his valve. Does have to burn that heal a lot earlier than he probably wanted to. Probably assumed that they were going to go over to that southwest compartment, and when, the, when they were down there, he's going to use the heal. But uh, as you can see, it doesn't work out that way, and that dragon is just going to do a ton of work to him. Ends up losing that wizard to this expo right here. I thought I don't know how he loses the wizard, but the the dragon doesn't go down. It's really the the, the crux of this raid as uh, the healers all die from the queen eventually that dragon does come over to her and you can see that um, we got you know a good bit of information got the CC and got some pathing info as well from the queen walk so we can use that to plan out our raid once that's down I'll pull back up the scout screen and we'll go over that so what do we learn we learned that there is a Tesla farm right here oops button we learned there's a tesla farm down here i think there were i think it was like that i forget exactly we learned that there's a tesla farm down there we learned that the cc is very bad to have on the valk so we need to lure that over to the queen and uh we learned that the queen will indeed walk so in all the subsequent raids we actually do drop her a little bit differently we go and drop her there uh but we we do learn that she is going to walk up north so that's that's not a bad thing uh, what else do we learn? That's basically it. That's that's basically what we're gonna use for our um, 
for our to plan our raid out here. And so what we're kind of going to kind of take advantage of, same thing with the scout, but instead of dropping her or dropping all the Valks from the southwest, we're going to drop them from the north or southeast, we're going to drop them from the northwest. And uh, I'll draw the queen wall first. So basically, similar raid, just going to be able to ensure that she takes out all of these defenses here. She can't reach the expo, but that is going to end up being okay. So she can reach all the way to there. And actually what we're going to do is we're going to wall break in on this corner. Right? And so if we wall break in on the corner, then we can get the queen to this tile right here. And from there, she'll be able to take out pretty much this whole compartment. Which I say pretty much because she can't actually reach this Tesla right here. And she can't reach the Expo. Let's, let's draw those in yellow because that, that, that is kind of crucial to our raid. Uh, let's, let's do some fancy color. Let's do... Let's do burnt orange. How about that? Can't really see that. Uh, so yeah, so you'll you'll see that this Tesla is going to be a problem, and this Expo is going to be a problem. So let's well we'll we'll think about how the Valkyrie is going first, and then we'll also think about how we're going to get that out. Well, now nah, we'll go and talk about it. So uh, what I do actually to get it out is I'm going to send in hogs just on the Expo. So just kind of send in. I think I send in two hogs on the Expo, and what I'm really assuming. For one is that the expo is going to be on the healers and I say the healers because she is going to have to pop her ability when she's on that inferno so I do go ahead and wait for the expo to retarget before sending in my hogs unfortunately it doesn't work out that way it goes to the archers instead of the healers but if they've been on the healers then the hogs would have been enough to be able to take down the expo and continue also working along but more importantly the queen would have stayed alive and to be able to bust through the wall and continue pathing around but it ends up not working that way but I'll go and exit that out as I think about my other stuff so I'm gonna drop my king right here king right there and a funnel wizard there the funnel wizard is just kind of going to kind of streak along this side. He is probably going to die to this cannon or archer tower right there, so I'm not really going to rely on him to do that much work. And my king will then walk this way, right? So he's going to walk that way. And then from the other side, I actually send in, I think I send in like uh, like three Valks or two Valks, I forget. But a couple of Valks right here to tank for my wall breakers. And they're going to come this way. And then I'm going to send in my 20 Valks or whatever I have from this angle. And they're all going to sort of meet up right in the middle and just bust through the wall, right? So once they're in this compartment, then you'll see they're going to they're gonna have the queen shooting at them. Unfortunately, the queen is, where, where she is right now, she most likely will be jumping out of that compartment. So we can't really rely on her aggro to pull the, the, the Valks in. So we are going to go ahead and drop the um, a jump right here. And that's going to let them walk over. Because as you see, once the queen takes out this compartment, there really isn't that much value left in the core, right? So we're going to drop that jump down, and that's going to pull the Valks around and drop the other jump right there. At that point, and I'm also, I, I brought sort of two rages for my queen. I brought three rages, one for the Valks, two for the queen, kind of assuming that I'd be able to at least save one for the queen. But I end up having to use that, that rage pretty early, pr pretty much right about there. Uh, but, you know, that, that that was something that ends up getting fixed, and the other two rages is going to come down, something like that. I don't know. But anyway, we'll go and watch the raid, though, and that'll kind of give us an idea of what else needs to be fixed beyond, uh, beyond this attack. So here she's going to go in. Same thing. Going to drop the queen up there on the east side. I'll go and fast forward, because we've, we've already seen the walk. She's just going to take out all those buildings does take out that gold mine and then continues over to the cannon once she's there she's pretty much well she was actually not directly on the tile like I thought she would be but it ends up working out it doesn't really matter uh, gonna get the hog down to get the lure forgot to mention I was getting a CC lure drop a poison down and CC dies and this is another thing that's going to change. Eventually, we're going to bring a haste to cover the sweeper. I forgot to mention that the the sweeper is able to push the healers out. Also, that we got from the um, from the uh, the scout, right? So they're they're able to not die from that um, 
sorry, air defense. Sorry, it's going fast forward. So the Valkyrie may be a touch early, but it's going to end up being okay. Going to get that jump and rage down. They're going to get through really easily. Get these two wizards down here on the southwest, helping them push through without going to the wall. Jump and rage go down. But see, watch the queen right here. I, I dropped that. Oh, no. It was the sweeper, actually, that pushed them out of the way. I thought they were on an archer. But either way, but they, they gets on the hogs, and they're just not able to tank enough for my queen. As those die, the expo goes back over to my queen, and she ends up dying as well. If that expo had gone down, I think it probably would have been a three. Unfortunately, it does not work out that way. Uh, do have a lot of Valks down here, and my king is still, you know, pretty well, pretty good health as well, which is nice. Uh, as they're going to continue pathing around, but with the Tesla and the Expo still up there behind two walls, it's going to end up being a fail, even if they could push through, but it'll be time either way. So I'll go and fast forward as that ends. But still, it was a decent attack from myself. So here we have Ben going in, and Ben is basically going to do the exact same raid as I did, uh, except he's going to bring a, a, an extra hog. That's the only difference that he has. And unfortunately, the way he ends up dropping his Valks kind of messes him up a little bit. But we'll go ahead and just watch it all the way through again. I'll, I'll just do it on 4x until the queen gets up there to the north. And does have to use... Yeah, so he had to use two hogs right there because his first hog drop wasn't very good. So, so unfortunately, he wasn't able to get the lure. And that's kind of what messed him up as well. Uh, all he did was ch change a giant that I had put up northwest to tank a little bit. He just changed that for a hog. But since he had to use it on the lure, essentially he's just not bringing the giant. So a little bit unfortunate. does bring a haste, though, for the healers, thinking that they might be able to stay alive through that uh, archer tower. Unfortunately, they do die, and that's going to be one thing we change as well. But just keep a keep keep note of these things, right? Wall breaker's going down, Valk's going around, and he just sort of drops them in a line. And that's not very good because they, they might spread out. And it ends up working out just fine where they come back together. But just because the timing, the queen ends up following them in. So pretty unfortunate that she goes that way, and because of that, she's not going to be able to reach the Inferno Tower, and of course she'll have the Expo on her as well. So I'll go and fast forward it to the end, just because it's almost almost not worth watching, um, knowing that the Queen isn't in the right position to get the rest of this raid going. But yeah, Valk's all pushing through. It does have the healers, which did help them out quite a bit, but unfortunately just not enough to get through the Tesla, Inferno Tower, and Expo at the end of the raid. But still a nice raid there from Ben almost doing what we needed to correct it unfortunately i think if the queen had gone the right direction he might have had it i don't know so now we're going to have very ballistic going in and you can kind of see looking at his troops the main thing he does is he he has a couple more hogs well actually he has the same as me pretty much just has an extra wizard or two and um he has five healers right so still has that haste but those five healers are really going to help out and actually in his CC he has hogs so he's going to try to use hogs on the southwest side to push all the way through and unfortunately it's not going to work out for him probably it could have worked out I think if he had done them earlier but the real thing that we learn from this is from the five healers right so as the hogs come in they do trip a giant bomb so he goes ahead and sends in another one the dragon and the witch and everything are going to come out and he is going to be able to kill that with the queen and the poison and continue working around. Gonna drop that haste down, force four, just a little bit. But you can see she's she's three quarter health right now, as she as she only has one point defense on her. Does have two right here. Drops the haste down, and the the healers are gonna be able to just barely keep her alive enough to push through the the uh, archer tower. But look, I mean she's half health, only one point defense on her. The sweeper isn't gonna do that much. And then at that point, just basically the same valk drop, right? Uh, Valks are all going in. They were a little bit earlier as, as mine, uh, so they, the queen doesn't go around. But unfortunately, the Valks just don't have enough to push through the backside. But watch this. Watch this queen right here. As he used the rage, because he has the five healers, he's able to save the rage, right? As he used the rage and her ability, she pushes through the Inferno Tower, pushes through the Tesla, and pushes through the Expo as well, or well, the wall. And look, as the rage dissipates, she's full health. So just from that, we see, you know, what we can do to fix it. That was such a big thing, just having that extra healer, right? And he's going to send in his hogs down there in the southwest. And unfortunately, he just doesn't have enough tanking. No, no more Valks alive. I think he wanted them to push a little bit further before sending in his hogs. But unfortunately, they do not, as his hogs are going to sort of peter out right here uh, through the southwest. Maybe if he'd gotten his wizards down earlier instead of these Valks going outside, it would have worked. But unfortunately, it does not. Still a very nice attack, though, from Very Ballistic and gave us exactly what we needed. The information to get this base taken down so cool stuff 
And now for the final attack that broke the camel's back, we have Red Cloud. And this is probably a little bit um, satisfying as well, because Red was actually the leader in Omicron when Ben was in there and, and Ben left. So it's kind of kind of good for him. Plus, he's one of our lower town on 10s. It was a bit of a Hail Mary. We didn't really think we were going to triple this base, but decided to go ahead and give him the shot, let him, let him try it. And his king almost does die. Well, I guess it does die at the end, but um, it doesn't, you know, the king doesn't really... It's not the, the most crucial part of the raid on a Valk attack. It's basically just tanking in, in this case. And he does trip that giant bomb right there, as before. Doesn't get the full lure. So he does have to send another hog, which is a bit unfortunate. Could have potentially saved that for the archer tower or something. And had a little more um, usefulness out of it. But does have the five healers, though. Queen is going to take out the CC troops as well. Everything's going to be pushing through nicely. This is just like very ballistic start where it's pushing through. Going to get through the uh, Archer Tower right here. Going to drop down that haste. He did He did put that haste a little bit later than very ballistic, but it ends up not really mattering. Same thing with the Valks. Perfect timing there. Just, just same as mine, basically. King goes down. Wizard doing his thing. Giant goes down to tank a little bit. Doesn't tank that much, but does, does help out some. Queen going to get inside that compartment. All the Valks going down. CC wall breaker. Uh, everything pushing through really nicely right here. Queen is in her little compartment. Does drop that Rage down. Probably could have... Well, it was actually good timing on the Rage. Queen's going to take out the Tesla, Expo, Inferno Tower. And he's going to pop her ability. Valks are all staying together. These two Wizards down here in the Southwest. Perfect timing on those. Pushing down nicely. Just streaking across the Southwest side. Or South... Yeah, Southwest. And look, the Queen is still alive. The Rage just ran out as she's pushing through. She also hits this wall segment, which actually ends up probably saving the raid, as his king dies right here uh, to these, this archer tower, which is a bit unfortunate, but ends up being okay. The Valks are going to push through and take out the uh, archer tower and wizard tower, as the queen is doing her thing, taking out the rest of that core. These two wizards streaking around. The Valks and the Barbs do die after taking down that wizard tower, but right here really is what saves the raid. So instead of the queen busting through a wall right here, she is going to... Wait for it. Boom. Bounce back out around. She's going to come all the way over here. And from here, she can reach the town hall. More importantly, she can tank for these wizards, right? So the wizards are going to work through this southwest side. It is on the archer. I thought maybe the wizard or the arch tower would switch over to the wizards when it hits this giant bomb on the other side of the archer. But fortunately, the wizards were just able to, to stay alive as one dies and then it swaps back over to the arch tower. So a little bit lucky. Don't get me wrong. But you got to have a little bit of luck to... Um, to, to get these triples right but still very nice tack all around big thanks to brady for letting me our ben is his name for letting me post this video as well and uh yeah thanks to all my clan mates for participating and working to get my my plan working and thanks to you guys thanks for watching it hopefully you learned something peace